Hey everyone, it's me, Stephanie Nietzsche, and today I'd like to talk about getting sick of our own work. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm working on a story and then all of a sudden one day, I mean, in the beginning, I'm like, oh wow, that's a great story idea. Let me, let me start writing that. And I start working it out and I'm, um, you know, adding everything was supposed to be adding the, the characters, the controversy, the conflict. I'm laying it all out. I'm writing the story. And then one day I sit down to write that story or I'm in the kitchen doing dishes. And then I get another story idea. And then I say, oh, you know what? I got this story. I'm going to put it on the back burner and I'm going to run with this story. Now that's okay if that happens once or twice. But if that is constantly happening, then this may be it. You may be working on your first draft too long or your first story too long. You may be going back and forth, back and forth with the first draft, with the editing, with the rereading, with the rewriting. Some people, it, it doesn't work like that for them. Some people, the longer the better. I know someone that just released a book. She worked on it for, I think she wrote three years and that's fabulous, that's phenomenal. If you have enough interest in that project to go back and forth and, you know, life happens. So, of course, we're busy. But with some of us, maybe, just maybe, we are working a little too slow. And maybe, just maybe, the story to us is getting stale. Yeah. It, it's just an idea. It's just a thought. I wanted to share that because the other day, I mean, I was working on a story, a first draft for weeks i had a lot going on in real life so the writing you know i couldn't write as often as i wanted to i couldn't work on this story as as much as i wanted to and then one day i was doing the dishes and i just got sidetracked uh to another story where i said oh my god this story sounds fabulous i think i'm gonna start writing this one and then i put the other one aside i put it behind so i guess i don't know I, I let it drag on and continue on too much. So maybe that's what happened to me. Now that has happened a couple of times to me. When I used to put my head down to go to sleep, I used to think about the story I wanted to work on. And I would do the beginning, the middle end, and I would think about the story and think about the story and let it play out, let it play out, let it play out. And not write a word of it, by the way, but I would just plot it out in my head. This is what I was doing in the beginning before I published my first book. And then I would be, boop, I would be done with that story because I already played the, played the story out in my mind so many times that it was done. There was nothing exciting to write about it. There was nothing fresh because I thought about it. I wrote it in my head, beginning, middle, and end. The mystery was over because part of writing for me, I don't know about you, but part of writing for me is the surprise of it all. Just like the reader gets surprised as... As they read on, I get surprised as my story is written out because it changes. I may be going in one direction and then as I write, you know, the characters, the plot, it all goes in a different direction and that's fun and that's exciting and I love when that happens. But maybe, just maybe, I thought about it too much to the point that it became stale. So if this is happening to you, I don't want to say speed up your writing or pick it up a little bit. But maybe for some of us, with certain stories, it doesn't necessarily mean every story, but maybe for some of us, if we find that we're slowing down on our story and we're not really caring about it as much as, you know, that particular project, as much as we were, then yeah, maybe we should pick it up a little bit, pay more attention to it, give it more time. Let's not forget about it. Let it, you know, it, it needs to grow. It needs to flourish. And the only way, just like love, just like flowers, just like our pets, we need to give it the attention and the time that it not only needs, but the time that it deserves. All right, everybody. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.